Hey everyone, this is the Block TV Podcast, where we talk about the things that really, truly matter. I am your host, Gabriel Logan, and this is September 22nd, the first day of autumn, 2018, at this 5.15 p.m. hour. How's it going, everyone? How's your weekend? The Browns beat the Jets. I was surprised, considering... Last year when they lost, like, what, 14 games or some shit like that? I don't really know. I don't pay attention because I'm not a Browns fan. But welcome to the podcast. Thanks for joining me. Um, man, it is hot today. It's like in the 90s watching South Park right now. Uh-oh, hopefully Viacom doesn't come after me because there may be a little bit of the show in the background. Oh, no. I'll never forget what Viacom did. That was such a douchebag move. A long time ago, Viacom used to go crazy on YouTube and just constantly ban people for posting even like a clip. Just like a clip of of South Park or anything, they go crazy. And my favorite part was the part when people would use it in fair use copyright context like I would. And they still would come after you. I mean, Viacom is a really awful company. And um, also, it's been 25 years since Bill Maher uh, being on TV. He first was on, um, he had a late night show. He had a late night show uh, both in, um, I want to say Comedy Central and ABC. And he, uh, he, you know, now he's on HBO. He's doing really well. He, uh, so they're having like a, you know, like an anniversary special uh, sometime in October. Also, another thing I want to mention is tomorrow is the last narration of Anthony Bourdain of Parts Unknown, the final season of Parts Unknown. Um, this, the first one's going to start in Kenya with a comedian who said uh, in an interview with CNN, he said that, you know, we weren't really uh, close friends, but I knew that we could be, and that's what makes me sad. Like, he knew he was going to be his friend. I mean, that's what happened with me out here in the city. Like, I became really good friends with this girl on Facebook, and then we just hit it off, and we just became really close friends. And we've been friends for quite a while now, a few years now. So, I mean... You know, I just felt that I was supposed to be her friend. And that's how that guy felt, too. And, you know, he always admired him. And he wants to follow his legacy and and whatever else. And then there's going to be a couple other episodes. Like, I think one's in Spain. I can't remember all of them. And then they're going to have a final episode of Bourdain with the the cast and crew and they're going to like do like a tribute and like say what what Bourdain meant to the crew. So, you know, that's going to be really cool. Um the thing I want to say is the thing that I really admired about Bourdain is because what he was on on camera was the same person off camera. He was genuine, he was kind-hearted. I've had uh comments and 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 people out you know you know this outreach of just amazing people like writing me telling me of how amazing of a guy he was um one woman in the comments on my instagram said that she took a picture with Bourdain and he couldn't be any more of a humble person and um he he does come off that way he comes off genuine i mean he even stood up for he sticks up for for the people he was the he was a people pleaser. I mean, when Donald Trump was talking bad about immigrants, he made a good point saying, you know, people who, you know, I'm in the restaurant business, and he goes, everyone else, you know, no white kid is coming in to become a dishwasher. You know, it's always someone who is Mexican. They do the jobs that we don't want to do. And they do a damn good job at it. And he like stuck up for them, like saying, no, this president's a fucking moron. And, you know, and a lot of people say, oh, man, we got to send them back to 
Mexico, they're taking our jobs. They're not taking your jobs. They're just doing the jobs you don't want to do. Do you go around mowing people's yards? Here's a better part. If if you're worried about a particular group of people taking over something, you sound like a Nazi. You sound like those people of Hitler. Because Hitler said the same thing. Hitler always complained about the Jewish people taking over everything. Well, how much of a snowflake are you? You know what I mean? Seriously, you're a little bitch. You can't compete, so you just get mad and then... You know, then you had Auschwitz and you had all this hate. And I mean, that's where it all starts. So, I mean, it's embarrassing to be associated with the white race. Let's be clear. If you are that concerned about people taking over your job, then maybe you should do your job better. Maybe you should, uh, you know... Get a fucking education and compete. The world is a competition. That's the whole point of the United States. We're not a monopoly. You, you can't have just AT&T to manage all the uh, landlines and mobile phones. That's what's amazing about our country. We have all these different options. We have Verizon. We have AT&T. We have T-Mobile, we have uh, Virgin, we have Metro PCS, Mint Mobile, Boost Mobile. You have options. Think about it. I really pref- I like the iPhone more than I like Android phones. That's my point. I mean, you just have to compete to make things better. I mean, look at how everything has stories now. Snapchat was the first one to do it. Then Instagram started doing it. Then Microsoft decided to do that on Skype. Now you can do stories on Skype. You can do stories in your Messenger app. You can do stories on your on anything. I mean, they have stories on Facebook now. You can also do that on your iPhone now. You can put stickers and filters like you would on Snapchat. They have that now on the camera, on the new um, iOS 12 update. So everyone's competing against each other, every single person. So I don't understand why people get all hell-bent on that. You know? So... Also, another thing I wanted to mention is vote. The midterm elections are coming up. It's very important. As your civil duty of being an American. You should vote. And I honestly feel there's going to be a bigger voter turnout because Trump is such a narcissist scumbag. I feel like more people are going to turn out to vote against him and he'll be impeached. Um, Another thing I want to mention is Donald Trump obviously has NPD, which is Narcissistic Personality Disorder. I mean, if you read the bullet points on Wikipedia of what narcissistic personality disorder is that's exactly what Trump has so let me uh, let me do that for you right now and show you exactly what narcissistic personality disorder is on Wikipedia Narcissistic personality disorder is a personality disorder with a long-term pattern of abnormal behavior characterized by exaggerated feelings of self-importance, an excessive need of admiration, and a lack of empathy. Gee, doesn't that sound like someone we know? 
Those affected often spend a lot of time thinking about achieving power or success or on their appearance. They often take advantage of the people around them. The behavior typically begins by early adulthood and occurs across a variety of social situations. And then there's this uh, painting called Narcissist by Kamangaro gazing at his own reflection on the ground. This cause of narcissistic personality disorder is unknown. It is, personally dis it is a personality disorder classified within cluster B by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, DSM. Diagnosis is made up by healthcare professional interviewing the person in question. The condition needs to be differentiated from mania and substance use disorder. Treatments have not been well studied. Therapy is often difficult as people with this disorder frequently do not consider themselves to have a problem. About 1% of people are believed to be affected at some point in their life. It occurs to occur more than males than females and affects young people more than older people. The personality was first described in 1925 by Robert Wilder and the term NPD came into use in 1968. The signs and symptoms. People with narcissistic personality disorder are characterized by their presence, gradually excessive need for admiration, and a personal disdain and lack of empathy for other people. As such, the person with MPD usually displays arrogance and a disordered sense of superiority, and they seek to establish abusive power and control over others. Self-confidence, a strong sense of self, is different from narcissistic personality disorder. People with MPD typically value themselves over others to the extent that they openly disregard the feelings and wishes of others and expect to be treated as superior, regardless of their, active, their actual status or achievements. Moreover, the person with narcissistic personality disorder usually exhibits a fragile ego, self-concept intolerance of criticism and a tendency to belittle others in order to validate their own superiority. The DSM-5 indicates that persons with MPD usually display some or all of the following symptoms, typically without the commissary qualities or accomplishments. One, gradually with ex expectations of superior treatment from other people. Two, fixated on fat on fantasize of power, success, intelligence, attractiveness, etc. Three, self-prescription of being unique, uh, self-perception of being unique, superior, and associated with high-status people and in institutions. Four, needing continual admiration from others. Five, sense of entitlement to special treatment and the ordinance from others. Six, Expletive of others to achieve personal gain. Seven, unwilling to empathize with the feelings, wishes, and needs of other people. Eight, intensely envious of others and the belief and the people are equally envious of them. Nine, pompous and arrogant demeanor. That is the fucking president of the United States. He is every single fucking thing of this. And this is a mental illness. So, if someone of the 25th Amendment, if someone is that fucked up in the head, um, you know, they uh, need to be looked at. Because uh, the president obviously has NPD. And I don't understand how anybody could consider this guy um, president of the United States. I don't know how people are so brainwash to think this guy could be president. This guy is an arrogant piece of shit asshole. So the president is a fucking idiot and we we don't need a fucking idiot as president of the United States. He's a goddamn moron. And I honestly think we need a better president and we need an impeachment. The guy is unfit to be president. He's a narcissist. He's an asshole. All he cares about is himself, and he's just a complete dick. So, anyway, um, I was trying to see how to try 
trying to think how to drink this. Toby, shut up. My dog's annoying because everyone's gone and I'm only here and he's getting all anxious. He's such an annoying dog. Anyway, thanks for listening to the Block TV podcast. You can check us out at theblocktv.com. Vote in November. Seriously. We have the midterm elections. This narcissist little bitch <laughs> needs impeachment. For the love of fucking God. Mueller, do something, you son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, thanks for listening to the podcast. Check us out at theblocktv.com. We're also on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on everything else. See you next time on the Block TV Podcast.